Hi everyone of the Spirit of Learning, Angga is here from Indonesia and welcome back to my video in YouTube. And I remember there's a quote about to get a big things, you have to start with the small things. So means that if you want to build the great animation, you have to learn the basic animation first before you can get that great animation. Well today, in this video, I'm gonna show you and explain to you the basic of animations that we can learn before we take the expert of the animation well basically this is for the android studio and if you are designer or developer yeah this is good video for you so just keep watching okay guys so first of all animation is good to have and you have to uh, make an animation in your our product because animation is good way to explain something is going on on the product where the user using our product so basically we are using the uh, images right but if we can do this with the animation it's like wow so nice because if the user is uh, looking for the animation and then suddenly they got what they want it feels like wow this app has an amazing animation wow i like the way they i like the way the animation showing us how this app working so that's why as a developer or designer it's important thing to get started to learn the basic of animation okay for designer if you want to make an animation you can use a flinto uh, principle or even you can use the adobe after effects but if you are a developer you can start from the scratch which is you have to use the example and Java and in this video I'm gonna explain to you the basic animation by using the uh, XML and Java but of course I'm gonna uh, give you the example of the video of animation with the uh, sketch and the flint tool okay guys so first of all number one is the alpha alpha is the property that we could use in the XML or Java to setting the opacity of the element so if you want to hide the element you can easily to setting the alpha to be a zero but if you want to make it visible not gone so you have to uh, setting the alpha to become a one so from the 0, 0.0 to the 1.0 so if means that if you want to make it 50% of the opacity you have to setting 0 0.5 so if you see my video tutorial right here about the Android animation tutorial, I was using Alpha to sewing and to uh, make the element to become visible or gun with the Alpha. Okay, second is scale. Scale is the property that we could use to make the element to be a bigger or become smaller. With the scale, we can easily to make the icon love with the in the Instagram uh, application to be a bigger so if you double tap the uh, put the picture the icon of love it will be bigger so that was using the uh, the scale so if you are interested to learn the kind of that animation you can press click here I have provided the video tutorial of the Instagram icon so basically with the scale you can also make the pop model you know is is it's like the pop boom, suddenly it's appear when the user is scrolling down or scrolling up so if you want to learn that animation you can press here the pop-up animation okay everyone so number three is the translate so basically the translate is used to the uh, moving the element in the android studio so if means that if you want to move the element from the bottom to the top suddenly appear like the scrolling up or scrolling down yeah there was i used the translate so you can watch this video about the uh, translate tutorial so basically people are using uh, translate if they want to uh, sewing and displaying the element suddenly uh, immediately from the bottom to the top like pew pew yeah you can watch this video so because that was i was uh, that was i was using uh translate to displaying the layout from the bottom to the top it's like in the nike animation yeah guys so those three basic animation that you have to understand that you have to learn step by step before you take an export animation in the android application so i remind you again if you are developer you can learn xml and java but if you are a designer you can use sketch principle 
and then Flinto or even Adobe Effects After Effects. Okay guys, so that's all and if you found this video useful, please let me know and if you are still confused, just let me know and write in the video's comment because I'm gonna answer your question. Alright, so nice to meet you from Indonesia and see you in the next video. Goodbye!